Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one here. Video check good, audio check good. I believe we are live, we are playing Satisfactory. Uh, technically Satisfactory Plus, because this is the modded version of Satisfactory. Um, Alright, so in the last episode we managed to get all of our steel production running with all of this extra stuff in here, which is just kind of ridiculous. And uh, we found out that we need another one of these things that way I can make steel rods, which is, yeah. But, you know, whatever, it's fine, we'll just get it done. Just get it done, that's all we gotta do, just get it done. <sighs> okay, but luckily we can make one right away, so that's good. Charles Heath, uh, welcome, says good evening. Uh, good evening to you as well, sir. All right, so now this needs to go roughly even with that. I feel like that's, I suppose it is even, okay. Well, whatever, it's fine. So that will go there. Um, all right, so we're gonna need uh, some of our steel ingots to go into here and we're gonna need a little bit of water. We're gonna get put out a little bit of steam. So just kind of need all of the things that we had before just out here again. Um, so let's get this going. Uh, we're going to run this out to about here. Uh, let's see. So this will go to here roughly about. Yeah. And then kind of here. Yeah, should be good. Right there. Ish. All right, and then that can go over to here. This can go over to here. All right, and then this, we can get rid of this. Throw in one of these. That will be where the steam comes out. Should be good about right there. All right, and then that can go there. Okay, so that is our steam. We also need our water to come out of here. Uh, we'll branch off of here, I guess. Uh, let me throw in one of these things. Uh, about right there. Should be good. Oh, nope, not right there. Um, here? Nope. Yep. Meh. Here, maybe. Uh, I feel like that needs to rotate just one more. And then go back a little bit. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Then we'll throw in another one of these things over here. And then water can go from here down to here and then into here. Doesn't matter which way it goes in here. Um, but we do need the steel to go in here. Okay, so this is taking the steel, which is here. Okay, so that has to come off and go this way into there. Okay. So we'll put another one of these in here somehow. And then this can go back over to here. And then, I don't know, put it here-ish, and then that can go to there, all right, and then we can run the water kind of eh, here-ish. Everything is kind of ish. Um, all right, now, can I go from here to here? Yes, I can. Wonderful. So we have our water, um, let's see, probably don't have any coal, no, we do have coal left. What do you need? Slag, okay. There we go. We'll get that little bit out of there too. Should be good, all right. 
So now, all of this should be going. Okay, so there is our steel being made, and then this should also be making some steel rod. Supposedly. Uh, I could turn this off for now, because I think we have enough steel, like itself. And so then if we let this kind of back up, then that should start moving everything into here, potentially. Maybe, possibly. Okay, what's... what's going on? Um, okay, so we have steel here. We have no steel here. What is the difference between here and here? Okay, so this is probably just a bug then. Okay. Not exactly sure what's going on here, but uh, it's a little weird. Okay, so now that will make us the steel, or the rods, anyways. Um, now, where does this go? Does that come out on that side? It does not. Oh yeah, and the uh, solidifier and cooler, if you take a look at this, it says get hard. <laughs> Which is exactly what it does. It uh, takes the stuff in here and it makes it solid. Alright, so we are going to put in another one of these up on here. Alright, so are we doing a thing? Okay. Now the molten seal is actually flowing. Alright. Good. Um, all right, so let's grab. Oh, and how much? How fast is that going to be coming out? 120 per minute. Okay. So that is a Mark II. So that'll go up to there, and then I don't know. Put it down over here somewhere. I suppose it doesn't really matter, right? That just needs to go over to there. It's spaghetti. Whole thing, spaghetti. Alright. But that should start getting us some of the uh, steel rods, which I can then turn into screws, which I'm going to need. So that should all be dropping out of here, right? Good. Alright. Okay, so uh, we need our next uh, unlock to aim for. And now that we have steel rods being made, uh, that should be relatively easy. Um, let's see, basher, advanced logistics. Um, this could be useful. Viking, welcome. Um, let's see, what would be what would be better though? Pipeline engineering. Okay, I have. Okay, hydroelectric power. I think we want this first. So let's work on that, because that'll just give me a huge boost to power, which will be great. Um, okay, so this, what have you got for me? 40. It's not a lot, dude. Not a lot. Um, also, how are we doing with all of our production? Is all of the things being made? No, they're not. Okay, things are not being made because we have no molten copper and then we have no molten copper because the zinc is probably full and then I should probably also empty out the magnesium so we can get some more iron in here alright that 
should be good there. Um, how is our slag? It's all right. Okay, we've got a little bit of zinc coming through now. We have no copper coming through. Okay, that copper is pretty much set. All right, so what I would like to do here is to combine these two copper lines. That way, you know, we can just keep the copper moving uh, regardless of what needs it or who needs it. So let me get this kind of aligned, sort of. And about right there. We'll get rid of this. And then that can go to there. And then this can come out. And then that needs one of these. And then that can go into here. Okay. So that'll combine all of our copper into kind of like the same lines. Uh, we'll split it wherever we need it to go. Should hopefully work a little bit better. Um, and then this one is being dumb because why? Because we're not getting any crushed copper and we're not getting any crushed copper because... Are we out of sapphire? This is the tin and lead, all right. We are out of sapphire. That makes sense. Okay. Well, let's uh, get some more of the sapphire going. All right, and just grab all of it. Good. So, that should do fairly well. Um, keep an eye on that and uh, refill it up again when we get to that point. Uh, rubite. Do I need tin and lead right now? I don't think so. We have a ridiculous amount of steel. We have all kinds of rods here, which is great. All right, so that can go. And then we need 2,000. Well, that's more than I've got there. All right, so you are on. Oh, crushed stone. Okay. Okay, so that should do fairly well. Um, okay, so next thing I'm gonna need to do is get some more of the uh, stuff. Um, and by stuff, I mean the quick wire. So let's take a quick little trip across the uh, memory lane here. up here. Now. All right. go. Lots and lots and lots of quick wire. And that has a little bit of stone there too. Uh, do I want this to continue or not? Eh, yeah, we'll 
Slap some more in here, should be fine. And that'll run for a little bit, which will be good. That has lots and lots of biofuel, which is great. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go up on here. Next to the creepy flower bird. <sighs> Alright. So yeah, traveling along these things is... Uh, it's actually rather enjoyable, surprisingly. I don't think it's as fast as uh, as the hypertubes, but it is decently fast. Ouch. All right, uh, so that should be all of the quick wire, and then we'll store the ex excess quick wire here. Um, quick wire. Yeah, we'll keep 500 of it on me. Should work. All right. And then I need, uh, I think that's brass right there. Brass plates. I don't know if I've had a reason to need brass. All right. And then brass. We'll just grab it out of here. See how many plates I can make with this and then grab more. Brass pipes, uh, brass plates, there we go. I'm gonna need 200 of these things. And also a ridiculous amount of cable. But it looks like the cable, uh, the copper is flowing again, so that's good. So there's 132. Let's grab some more. Uh, that should be enough, right? Maybe, possibly. Possibly, maybe. Alright, make more. And then I need enough parts to make 11 of those tidal generator, whatever things. It's not tidal, but you know, hydro power, hydroelectric power thing. Okay, so there's our 200. Now I need a ridiculous amount of cable. Um, Let me see if I can maybe help this along. So if I put this into here, oh, that needs bus bars. Oh, that's sheets anyways. Um, this one, there we go. So we'll give you 200 of those. Help that get made and we'll take another 200 out of here. Give that to the cable. That'll be good. Um, we'll pick up a few more bus bars. There we go. Should be good. We'll let those kind of marinate a little bit. And then, brass plates. There we go. 
Now I need all of the rest of the cable. Mm, 500. Probably make a decent amount of cable out of that. For two, so that'll give me another 250. So 350 total, which means I need another 150, which is gonna be another 300 wire on top of that. Yay. Uh, okay, so that'll be 300, 350. Um, whatever, we'll just take that, make the rest. Okay, so there is 400. Oh, and I need to make those uh, rotor blade things too. These things. All right, so that is gonna be our 500 cable. And then I'll see what I need to actually make that stuff. Um, all right. Send it. All right, and then the next one is probably going to be advanced logistics. That'll be the next most important one. All right, so let's go into here and see what we can do with this. Okay, so we need five of the rotor blades. How do I make rotor blades? It's probably going to be with steel, right? Uh, rotor blades. There we go. And no, that is iron sheets and brass plates. Interesting. Okay. And then uh, we're going to queue up 11 of these things. There we go. So I need 55 of those things total. All right. Grab the brass out of here. Make some more plates. Probably need to grab some of the iron sheets out of here too. I think I'm running a little low. Yeah. Should be good. All right, next. Uh, brass plates, brass, 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 brass. Right there, all right. And then I need to make more of those rods over there too, so that's gonna require me to grab some bronze. Um, so I can do that, throw that into my little maker thing over there, and uh, we'll get that going. All right, so I need some modular frames. Those will be relatively easy to make though, so should be good. stop again? Dude. It stopped because we are full on something and I have something turned off. Alright, there you go. Have some of those. Okay, so what is not turned on? This is not even connected. It's 30 per minute. Okay. Well, there you go. Make sure all of this is good. Okay. Right. So that will make all of this stuff over here. Put the tin in here, I guess. Should be good. Um, yeah, that'll make more of those. All right. Now for the rotor blades and then the modular frames. Okay, rotor blade.
Okay. Then in modular frames, you're going to require these things, which I have very little of. Yeah, I'm going to need more. Um, reinforced iron plates. Yeah, we'll just make a bunch of these, I guess. Rizzy Clueless says hi there, welcome. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, attempting to build 11 water turbines right now. So now we get to go and travel over to the place where we were, uh, where we will install them. But first, we should probably get some more cable, because I'm probably not going to have enough. Should hopefully be good enough. Oh, and then for those of you who aren't uh, usual watchers um, of my live streams, um, I will read every comment that you write because, you know, it's not like it's overflowing with comments or anything. Um, I will, however, moderate as YouTube requires, so I will not repeat everything that you say, but if you do write something, I will repeat it. And if you'd like to have a conversation with me as I play, I would love that, absolutely. Because it makes things a little bit more interesting. A little less boring. All right, so this is all working well so far, I think. All right, so I need to stop on that next tower. And we're gonna start putting down a whole bunch of these things. Oh, way too far, way too far. And apparently there's no actual water here. Well, that's cool. Okay. Um, can I get back up here without dying? Yes, I can. Excellent. All right. <laughs> There's a little, little sketch there. Um, okay, so now water turbines. Uh, which way does this have to go? Probably this way. If I had to guess. Two, three. Uh, six and seven. Okay, and now we need to connect this to this to this. And then this one goes uh, we need to connect the lower portion here. Uh, let's try not to die here. All right. Okay. So how much power did that add? Uh, 50 megawatts per. This is maximum efficiency. Nice. Okay, and I believe that's all of these are operating at maximum efficiency too. So that right there, just these seven, that's 350 extra megawatts of power that I now have available to me, which is amazing. All right, um, and then we'll go over here, I guess. Let's see, oh, nope, let's not jump like that. Um, Oh, let's see if I can get this over here. There we go. Wonderful. All right, and then we need to take this tower up, and there's additional nodes over here. No, too far, too far. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so now we take these again.
All right. And then this can go to here, which can go to here, which can then go to there. And these ones also operate at maximum efficiency. So altogether, 550 megawatts we just added to the system. And these will run forever. They will never change. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a lot of power. It is a lot of power. This guy's like swimming over here. That's awkward. <laughs> I guess they don't have a swimming animation. Huh. You would think they wouldn't need one. They'd just like stand on the bottom of the lake, right? I don't know. Anyways, so that is a lot more power. Um, so that makes me happy. And then if we take a look at this, so we are now producing almost a gigawatt of power. And our usage is way, way, way down here. So this is what we need in order to start building up and making uh, bigger uh, factories. So now that that's done, um, there is another waterfall on the other side of the map. Um, basically, there's a lot of waterfalls coming out of the, the red forest area. Um, but yeah, uh, so that one I believe is also full efficiency. So if you set it up there, Oh, is that a huge... Did you guys see that spider? Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. Yeah. I was looking in here. And I saw the shadow of a gigantic spider. Do you see that thing right there? Am I seeing things? I am seeing things. Maybe I'm not seeing things. That looks terrifying. Do you see that? Like, that's what I was seeing. It looks like a spider. I don't think it is, but it looks like a spider. Creepy. All right. Anyways. Um, so, now that we've almost died, trying to look at a spider. Now we can head back. All right. Um, other things that we should probably start trying to unlock is uh, food. Um, because we need to make the weaver. And the weaver requires... Uh, I don't remember exactly what the item is, but... Um, it's something that you can grow. Oh, that's going to hurt. Or not. Okay. So, where we have to go to get that dirt is way, way, way over there. And I need, like, a dirt extractor or, like, a miner or something like that just to pull it out, which is going to be, like, a whole thing. Um, what else do we need? Um... Well, power is not so much an issue now, so we could potentially start working on a steel factory, like a legit steel factory, not this thing here. Wow, it went through all of that stuff already. Dude. Alright. Okay, so that'll get us some more copper going. Um, all right, now all this other stuff I don't think is gonna be too difficult to make. Hi, Bean. Uh, how are we doing in there? Doing okay. How are we doing over here? 24, okay. Gonna need 100. Also, I don't think I have any more concrete. I do not. Okay, so I should probably start worrying about how to make concrete. 
Ah, oh, man. Um... Be, yeah, I need the advanced logistics to be figured out. Okay, so we have more than enough of that. Um, need to grab more of the brass. I could have just gone up here and gone around. That would have been easier, right? Okay, so there is more brass. Um, how are we doing otherwise? I think we're doing okay. All right. Oh, I can make steel screw nose. That's good. Um, let's see. Uh, Rizzy Clueless says, this game looks beautiful. Um, I see it, kind of. Okay. Um, let's see. Sand, no. Um, just make for some more of these things. Okay, copper is going again, so that's good. that um, okay so I am gonna need to get uh, okay so this has to be mixed with the crushed stone so I need to get the crushed stone over here somehow and then that goes into uh, an assembler which I need a rotor for That's a good place for it. Um, all right, and then that can go to there. And then, let's see, slag cement can go there. Throw that in there, it should be good. Uh, now we just need power. Actually, I can run. Let's just build some more foundations out here. So that'll start getting rid of some of our slag, which will be good. And then we can take this thing out, plug that in directly there. It's gonna make 60 per minute. All right, good to go. That'll give me something to do with all of the uh, cold slag there. Okay, next thing, uh, more brass. Um, let's go this way and then go this way. just thinking about what would be the most easiest thing to do right now and uh, I don't actually know all 
I think uh, I think something that would be kind of interesting to do um, would be in the same place that I'm going to make the steel factory to also put in a coal power plant there. I believe I could get that to work. And this is three to two, right? So 144, 150, so that's 50. That'll give me 100. Um, I need another, well, 220. And then, so that's gonna have to get, okay, so there's water over there. Um, I could build, what would be kind of cool is the water that is being used for the power plant, let's say that I build the power plant lower, right? As soon as that turns into uh, not hot steam, um, I can then transmit that upwards onto the steel factory and have that be kind of like over everything. I think that would be kind of cool, actually. Just make it like a little, I don't know, art piece, I guess. Like a huge, just bridge. I'm gonna need a lot of part, pizza, uh, the parts and pieces for that, though. Um, okay, so that'll give me 66, no, 100, no. 1860, yeah, 66. That'll give me 66? No, times two. 132. Okay, so that'll give me 132 plates right now. I'm gonna need another 100 on top of that. Which is gonna be like 150 more brass. I mean, we've almost got it. Um, I would have to unlock more things in the awesome shop though. I don't know how many how many tickets I have there. Um, be something to look into, I guess. Set up a resource sink somewhere close to here, I guess. Uh, we could actually put it uh, awesome sink right here. I'd need screws and five rotors, which I can make. Uh, rotors, one, two, three, four, five, and then the screws, got plenty of those. All right, so awesome sink, set this up here. Um, looks to be about even right there. Um, okay, so that have availability this one does all right so how many I have three tickets great um, I'm putting in 314 or getting about 300 points per minute uh, I'm gonna need more than this though hmm I'm like just having this thing like on right now. It's using up a lot of power, so we'll just turn that off. Um, okay, so more of these. So this will give me the 500 that I need. Um, I have the plates for it. I have the concrete for it. I do need the bronze frames though. So before I get too excited over here with all of this, should probably get some more of the bronze out of here. Throw that into that thing. Go. Uh, 
bronze beams. I don't have a use for those, so they can just go there. Um, 90 per minute. Yeah, that's fine, though. Uh, that's doing a thing. That's going to need more screws. Okay, how many do we have now? None. Why do we have none? Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's drop off what we can. Um, so that is good there. Throw those 40 onto there. Uh, this is brass plates. I'm going to need 152 to complete this, which I should have with some despair. Excellent. All right. So that is the rest of that. Now I need another 40 of these, or 60 of these things. I don't technically need this on here. I could just collect it all here, right? Um, I wonder if that would be faster making it myself. Probably would be faster making it myself. What I need to do is get more of this stuff set up. even with that. Okay. Let's just get some of this on here. So that is good there. Um, I need to make more glass to really get this thing going. Um, all right, and then this. It's gonna be one of these. Then we need a corner over here. Stairs down. here. Alright, and then this we can probably replace with these. And then 
this gets to go to here, and then we throw in another set of stairs over here. Alright, that gets to be one of these. Okay, so now we have access to this whole thing. Um, so that'll be fun. Alright, um, so, uh, I still need glass, which requires sand, which requires crushed stone, um, These things are going to need to be emptied. Alright, so, for example, uh, tin is fine, uh, zinc can be emptied, magnesium can be emptied. Alright, that'll be good. a lot going on. A lot that we have to do. A lot that we have to build. And then once I get all of this stuff built, then I need to get some sort of a global network to move things from one place to another. Uh, a lot of people use trains. Um, I don't know how I feel about using trains. Uh, usually what I will do is I'll build um, basically like it's a glass tube in the sky that you can walk into and it's got uh, a ridiculous amount of the fastest belts in the game in there and you can just move them and they'll you'll have a set of belts going one direction you'll have another set of belts going the other direction and then you just move things through and you take off what you need when you need it and uh, yeah, as long as you have, you know, the fastest belts, you can move a lot of stuff very, very quickly. Um, arguably faster than trains. But, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about doing that. I'm trying to think about this coal power plant that I'm going to build and the steel factory on top of it. I want it to look like an arched bridge uh, over, I know you can't really, well, you might build a picture in your head, but uh, over on the north side of the map, not quite to the oil fields area, a little bit more to the west of that. There are four iron nodes there. Behind the iron nodes, there's a cave that goes to quartz and uranium. Um, and that's also on the highest mountain in the game. That's right in front of that. Uh, there's a bunch, bunch of, a uh, bunch of coal there, there's a bunch of iron in the area, not exactly right there, but, you know, close enough to it. And that would be the ideal place, uh, to put all of this stuff. Um, alright, so then we're gonna need this guy to go that way. Okay, so that goes out this way, and then we need one of these, and then we need a corner piece, 
And then we need a bunch more of these going that way. And that meets us over to the other side. I don't know, somewhere over there. Okay, and then we can kind of walk around this entire area, pull off what we need when we need it, or go and inspect things. Um, ideally, this thing would just be running without any intervention from us, but <sighs> we can't all be that lucky. Um, okay, so I need more of these. And to make more of these, I need more of these. And then to make more of these, which obviously is not really happening, um, I need wire and plate or is it wire and sheet wire and plate okay so let's grab some more of the plate and then wire do I need wire you can grab some more I guess okay I'll make a bunch of these Now, once we unlock the tier 3 stuff, like, I might not even need this anymore, because then you just make the, the steel, uh, what is it, not steel frames, um, steel beams, make those, and then that's pretty much all you need. Alright, how are we doing over here? Have you... Okay. It's a little slow. Okay, so that can go there. And then, of course, the Satisfactory Plus mod might have changed that, so that way you need more stuff. Because that's what it does. Um, Alright, so next thing, uh, I'm just going to make the rest of them by myself, you know, manually. Alright, so that's going to be brass right here, which means the bronze is right here. I'll grab that out. Alright, that will take us up. And in and down. Okay. Then bronze something something. Bronze beams, there you go. Then we're gonna need a ridiculous amount of screws in order to make the bronze frames. So let's see what we need for those. Yep, that'll be these next. See, I need 35 more. Okay. Yeah, 35 more. Okay. So, let's grab some more of the bronze. Can I just, like, hop down here? Because, I mean, this is where it is. Alright. And then we'll hop over here. Next, um, make more. Okay. That will make enough for us to complete that, and then we can have our Mark III belts. And I may end up replacing all of the Mark II belts if they're easy enough to make. Especially if they just take steel beams. Dude. Okay, so that will be enough. <sighs> Alright, and send it. Alright, now, what do I need to make the Mark III stuff? Of course, I need brass plates and screws. Okay. And then I also need to make the Mark III conveyor parts, conveyor belts, which is going to require bronze plates and brass plates. <laughs> 
Why can't this just be easy? Why? It used to be just the steel... Well, okay, non-satisfactory plus. The regular unmodded version of the game. It's just steel beams. You can make tier 3 uh, stuff. Super easy. But apparently not this. Alright, so... Um, with that being said, I think the very first thing we should do then with our extra space that we've got down here is to set up some brass and bronze manufacturing. So, okay, so we gotta pull in from over here. Um, so let's just uh, set this up as we need to. Um, uh, we'll put a splitter onto here, uh, brass and bronze, um, and I need simple conveyor belt, of course I do. Annoying. Alright, so let's get this going as quickly as we can. Nope, we need a splitter, not a merger. Okay, so that can go there. And then that will line up here. Okay, so once we have that, we can now pull off of this. And then that can just go... Belt is too short. What are you talking about? Um, okay. Okay, so now I need to figure out where this has to connect in without me being in the way. Um, okay. So that goes up to there, which will then go around to there. We can put this thing back up on there. So it looks like it's connected, even though it's not really connected. All right. And then I can make most of the, what is that brass that I'm pulling off of there? Yeah. All right. So, now that I've got that, uh, we're going to need another splitter off of here. And we'll run it in the middle, sure. Okay. And then, production constructor. Set this up kind of in the middle, I guess. So brass. So the only thing we can make is just brass plates. Really? I mean, okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. Of course, I put that in there wrong, so that's always fun. Then we'll put in another one, because why not? That'll take the full 60 out of here and split that among these. And of course I need to extend foundations across here. I need more iron sheets. Okay. Okay. Brass plates. Brass plates. Next. Nope. Nope. There we go. Uh, 
Actually, I just need to go to here, and then all of these can go. And then we can run this over to here. That can run there. And there, I suppose. Okay, so that'll make both of those. And then... I just need a container to collect everything. That is not lined up. There we go. And then I just need a merger in here. There we go. That can go into there. That can go into there. This can go there. Okay, so brass plates being made. Um, yeah, so that'll move 40 per minute, which should be fine. Um, alright, now, separator. Okay, next thing is gonna be our bronze, which I'm gonna need a lot for, I'm thinking. Um, let's start with this first, and we'll put this, I don't know, where are these things set up? Kind of in the middle here. All right. That is not where that's supposed to go, sir. All right. Okay, so for bronze, we can make the beams, we can make the pipes, we can make the plates. So that's going to be three different things being made. Um, so if we do the plates here, that's going to require 30 per minute. Uh, I need more... Reinforced plates. Am I even making any over here? I have two. All right. Okay, so three bronze things, three bronze constructors, and then we're just going to get uh, this to go into the wall right here in the middle. We'll split them, make it super easy. Is that not lined up? That is not lined up. Mark two belts, at least. Mark one belt to go into here. Mark one belt to go into here. Mark one belt to go over here, to here. Okay. And then we can run some more foundations over here. feed these two, and then that one can just go here to feed this one. Alright, good to go. Okay, now this needs to be placed. Hmm. Alright, so let's see. Mark two belt, because I don't have any other place to put it. We'll go there, and then if I can get this to line up properly, I should be able to run it directly in. So we need a splitter. And I'm missing a single conveyor belt.
Okay. So this one is making the bronze plates. This one will make the bronze pipes. Uh, this... Oh, that requires plates and then make pipes. Okay. Okay, so then I guess this one is going to just make more plates, I guess. Which means that this gets to change. Enough room for a belt in there. And then... Oh, is that even going to work? Okay. And that goes over to here. Which then goes into there. And then this, hopefully, can slide right along here. Make our third brass part, the bronze part, which is a beam. So, you can have those back. Oh, there is not a wall right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. That was a little terrifying. Okay, walls. Windows. There we go. And now we need more of these. So that goes there. I'm going to need another one over here. There. This makes the bronze pipes. And uh, let's uh, get this to go over to here to feed both of these. Here we go. Get one more storage container over here. That one will be the beams. We have brass plates, we have bronze plates, um, and hopefully with all of this, I can then make some Mark III uh, conveyors, or just standard conveyor belts, I guess. I can make 52, and we actually need more bronze than brass, so that's going to be fun. Oh, wait, we can make... Brass pipes, too. And brass plates. Did I mess that up? I probably messed that up. Okay, so if I wanted to make you do brass pipes instead, which are where exactly? Can you not make brass pipes? How does one make brass pipes? Oh. You need an assembler and iron wire. Well. Sure. Okay. So that's fun, I guess. Um, all right. So more of these. These are doing well question mark. I mean, it's filling up, so that's good. And then we're pulling off as much uh, bronze as what's being made, so that's good. Uh, man. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on.
But I mean, we're making all the things, so that's good. Making these now too. So that'll make making the bronze frames a little bit better. Um, Alright. I really need a lot of these though. Alright, now if I wanted to upgrade, it uses one belt, but it also uses brass plates and screws. Okay. Um, screws, they'll be over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is try to move the iron through here as quickly as I can. And the iron isn't actually doing anything right now anyways, so that's always fun. Uh, magnesium can be emptied. I need to be able to do something with magnesium. It sucks that I can't right now. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a waste product. Like, what do you use it for? All right, um, let's see. So this should be doing well. Okay, how much concrete did that make? 132. Okay. It's not very much. Um, okay. So what I could do is run that down through there and then somehow get all of the stone, which is over there, to go all the way down here. And just kind of connect into there, I guess. Which would be interesting, at the very least. And then zinc, I gotta do something with the zinc, so I'm actually using it up. Because that's not doing anything. And the only thing I can make with zinc is plates. And there's no way I'm gonna need that many. How you doing? You doing good? All right. So the idea here is that we just kind of set it and forget it and let this thing build up and just let it run over time. And then, you know, when we come back, when we actually need stuff, it'll be like stock full. Uh, all right, what else can we do? Do we do the basher? That would be nice, actually. We need 500 modular frames. Are you kidding me? and a ridiculous amount of seal screws. This seems kind of excessive, if you ask me. Really, 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 really excessive. And that's just like, it's a four to five, dude. Like, do you know how many iron rods I have to make? Like, I have to make 2,000 iron rods just to be able to fulfill the iron or steel screw part of this, which is ridiculous. I mean, I could probably do it. I probably have it, in all honesty, but... <sighs> kind of ridiculous. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's basically everything that I've got. All right, and then uh, this is probably full on slag again. Yep. All right, so that'll make more stuff. And then I just need something to make this extremely quickly. Um. Yeah, I'm going to need to make more of those reinforced plates because my construction isn't quite there yet. Um, right, and I wanted to get... Uh, I mean, I'm only producing 120, right? So if I get it in there even faster than that, it's not really going to make that much difference. All right. 
So here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to set up three constructors. Um, and they will each take on some of the screws. All right, so if I wanted you to make, can you not make the steel screws? Oh, there we go, steel screws, all the way at the bottom. Okay, so that takes 40 per minute. Okay. So that'll be a full 120. Okay, now we need to put in a splitter to go here. So that's one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we need one of these to feed this with a Mark II belt. Okay, and then these all need power. So we're just gonna run this off of here. That one can connect somewhere here, I guess. Okay, so that will make those run. And then we, let's see, that'll make stack up to 500, right? Yeah, and we'll just collect them as they get done, I guess. But for now, uh, that should make all of the screws that I need to make. Um, I can, how much lead plate do I have? Not enough. Okay, so let's grab some lead plate. I need to make a ridiculous amount of modular frames, so that's gonna be fun. How you doing? You got one for me? Great. Uh, we'll take that. My nose is whistling at me. <laughs> All right, um, okay, so we need plates and wire. Okay, there's our plates. We'll grab some wire. Go to town on these reinforced, or yeah, reinforced iron plates. And then, okay, so each one of these makes two of the modular frames, which means I'm going to need 250. It's insane. Two thousand five hundred steel screws. That is insane. Okay, so what's going on with these that, okay, so I'm gonna need iron rods, okay. Well, we've got a bunch. Grab some more of these, I guess. Grab some more of this.
trying to think of what I could do to make this go faster. I mean, if I did the conveyors, or sorry, the splitters, instead of an overflow system, if I did it, it's how we just sends exactly what is needed to each place based on, you know, how much uh, stuff I'm making. Um, that would probably work a little bit better. I still don't have enough. It's insane. Uh, nope, this way. Alright, let's grab more. And that is going to be the last of my iron wire, though. Okay, so... That is going to be our 250 that we need. We'll make a few more, just because. And then... So many different parts here, dude. Alright. I need 499 of these things. It's going to take a while. And I think I'm going to run out of rods. Yeah, pretty sure. <sighs> well... About halfway there. Yep, and there's the last of the rods. The amount of parts that you need is just ridiculous. Uh, Charles Heath says, to make things faster, why not make basic components off stream? Uh, personally, I like seeing progress, not handcrafting. Um, because I don't have time, to put it simply. Uh, I mean, I have spent quite literally the entire day today recording videos for all of my other content that I do throughout the week. Tomorrow is going to be the same thing. More recording videos. I don't I don't have time to play this not on stream, unfortunately. And then during the week, I work. So that's 10 hours of my day gone. And then on top of that, sometimes I'll do a recording after that, but then I also have my live streams that I do every night after that too. And then I also have to get some sleep in there somewhere. So I just... I don't have time. That is the simple answer. Now, I could reduce the overall amount of content that I do, and then I'd have time. But if I did that, it probably wouldn't work out very well for me. All right. Um, all right, so let's see. I have three tickets. What can I get? I'm going to need these. And I'm also going to need these. So basically, I need, I need tickets. Uh, we'll grab this for now. And I don't know, like, if, if you want to see, you know, progress being made, I'm sure there's other creators out there that are doing their videos in the way that you want to see them, and, you know, they could use your views, too. So, I mean, it's no hard feelings. I mean, do what you do. I'm not going to tell you to do one thing or the other thing. Um, this is what I'm doing. If you like what I'm doing, then great. If you don't, then there's other content out there. Alright, so that is that. Um, something I could do is start looking for the dirt, and we can get some of that going. Um, that's going to need a miner. So let's just... I mean, I know where it is, I just have to go and get it. 
But I'm going to need that so I can start up that whole thing, which is going to be a whole whole thing. Um, we're going to need one of those, which is going to require uh, some miners. We're going to need some of that. Uh, I'm going to need a biofuel generator to power it. Uh, Charles says, I'm not trying to be rude, only helpful. No, that's fine. Uh, I could make one of these, but that would require some of my stuff. And 30 megawatts, though. That, I mean, that would be enough to power the miner for a very long time. Of course, one of these things would be nice, too. Um... This does between 10 and 30 megawatts, which I could probably do a couple of these, maybe. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so that'll be good there. And then I'm going to need a container for that as well. Um, probably some belts, I guess. Okay, so iron rods and cable. Grab one of these 200 stacks. Uh, grab some iron rods. It'll be over here. All right. So that should be enough to get our dirt excavation started. I just got to remember where it is. Um, I know it's over here somewhere. It's like over the river, through the woods, quite literally. You'll see what I mean when I get there. So we can see the woods, but in the middle of the woods is a river. So we have to go through the woods, over the river, and then up the hill. There should be a hill in here somewhere. So there's the river. And then once we get over here, this is Rubite right here. Hello, little dog. Um, what is this? That was rude. Did I pick all... Oh, that was a spider. Let's try to stay away from the spiders, hey? Um, I think it's over here somewhere. No, it's like up on top of there. I don't know, it's around here somewhere. I just have to figure out how to get on the other side of the cliff. Or get up on top of the cliff. Or around the cliff. I'm stuck in between trees. That's fun. There we go. Little pathway up. And then... Uh, nope, not here. Oh, more little spiders. That's great. Um, I think it's around here. Maybe it's not here. Oh, that's a... That's a big... Sp yeah, goodbye. Or is it up there? I don't remember exactly where it is. Um... Ow, sir. Get over here. Rude. All right, um, let's see. I don't think it was over here. Or was it? Okay, we got bugs. I don't want to deal with the bugs. Um, was it up here? Can I even search for it? No. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to remember where it was. I know it's around here somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where. A little DNA guy here. Thank you. Um, was it over here? I think I remember having to go past those things. And then it was like up here, maybe? Little plasma splitter guy. Ow. All 
right. I think it might have been around here somewhere. Is this it? Nope. That's a shadow. There it is. Jar of dirt. Impure. So there is our dirt. Um, it sucks that it's impure, though. Is there any other dirt around here that is not impure? I can't search for it anyways. Is there any bio water around here? That'd be interesting to know. Wait, what is this? Oh, there is bio water right over there. Okay. Okay, that is not. Um, is that the only dirt that was over here? Hmm. I think that might be it. So uh, let's just start building stuff. No knowledge about what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I have to grab a bunch of this stuff first. So what I may end up doing is we'll set up a couple of these. <sighs> and while those are mining, I'll also do some stuff over here. And then I should probably put uh, let's see, dirt. Okay, icon is going to be dirt. Um, impure. Um, marker size near far. Set it there. Um, color, we'll do like a brownish. Mm, kind of more like a little bit more orange, maybe a little darker. A bit more saturation, less saturation, more saturation, okay. Should be good. Apply. Alright. So now, I won't lose it. I don't know how much I need. Um, can I set up a ma'am, actually? Special... Yes, I can. Alright, what do I need for dirt? Fix it farming, regular old dirt. I need 200. Okay. Enough. All right, good. 
All right, research, fix it farming. There we go, and research. There we go. Uh, seed extracting, so that shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, and then we can start making stuff and we can make solid biofuel, really. We can cook stuff too. We can make dirt crops, so that's what we'll be able to make. Um, and then more stuff after all of this, but now that I have this learned, um, I should be able to start mining it. All right, so let's see. We wanna go sort of back that way, so let's get this going that way. All right, throw a mining head in there. Um, let's see, power is gonna be over here. So we'll run that over to there. Um, let's see, get some of these. One of these anyways. Run that that way. Then we'll get another one, throw it over here. Now, is that gonna be enough power? I need 7.6 megawatts. Oh, there we go. All right, so now that we are officially mining, it's gonna take a little while, but that will be good for that. And then I can start collecting it. So uh, next thing to build is one of these. And then I'm gonna need a merger. That can go into there. This can go over here on that side. This can go over here on that side. And then we can collect dirt. All right. And then to get over here a little bit easier, um, Okay, so that's our Caterium farm right there. So we could potentially, if I have the pieces and parts for it, which I'm not saying I do, I could build a power platform. Ooh, I do. Set that up over here, run this over to here. And then we'll see what we can do for this. And then that would be a really, really, really easy way to get over here which could be interesting. All right, so now, oh, this is a much better vantage point. Okay, so in here are the three iron nodes that we'll wanna tap. Um, the coal is over there. Um, probably, okay, so probably on the other side of that little ridge right there. So it's on the other side of that. So if we can get this stuff over to there, that's a lot of iron that we can add in there. I don't know if we need the iron over there or we can just build a little iron thing over here. But I think there's also some uh, sapphire, which is copper around here too. Not exactly sure where, but I'm pretty sure it's there. All right, and then that. Probably be a good place to put that there. Um, or we could put it over here kind of go towards the Caterium. And then, we take this thing, ride to our next destination. Oh no, I fell. That sucks. Okay, let's get off the ground. Okay, and can we get that over to there? We can. Okay. Oh, we got a bug farm here. Am I gonna be too close or are they gonna Okay, that's no good. No! You little pain in the butt. Come here. 
Oh my god. Where are all of these things coming? Oh, jeez. Yep, time to go. Time to go quickly. Ah, man. I don't like the bugs, man. I don't like them. Okay, can I get this over to there? Oh, I need copper rods and steel beams. But I can get it over there. So that would be good. Just gotta get rid of the bugs. Look at those guys. Annoying. Alright, um, okay. So we are at, well, we're actually past 8.30. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna end this one here. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know it was a lot of auto building, a lot of manual crafting and stuff, but Satisfactory Plus is not something where you can just set everything up and have it all work like normal Satisfactory. Everything is a lot more complicated. There's a lot more parts. And just getting things working. Oh no. What was that? Power, for instance. Okay, so that was probably the one over there. Ran out of wind power or something. Explosives. Uh, okay, if I wanted to unlock explosives. Just to show you. Should probably leave one of these things over here anyways. Okay, so we have to go into sulfur, right? Now, just to get to the point to where we can make black powder... I have to have the um, heavy modular frames unlocked, right? So I don't even have that unlocked yet. So I can't make it. And then to unlock heavy modular frames, we'll go over there and take a look. I mean, when I say that you know, Satisfactory Plus is a hard mod. Like, it's legit a hard mod. But we'll go and we'll take a look. So, heavy modular frames. To get there, well, actually, hold on, let me just send this one off first. Charles says, never mind, but I'm going to show you anyways. So you can understand a little bit about this mod. Okay, so let's get this all going. All right, send it. All right, so next one, right? So is that everything? So trucks is the last one in tier three that I have to get. Uh, so advanced parts here, right? So this is gonna take 2,500 tin wire. I can make all of this, but I needed the steel beams, right? So I couldn't do any of this until I had the steel. Now I have the steel. But now I need to make stators, which need the steel, uh, uh, what is that, barrel things, so, and I don't, I don't have a steel factory set up yet, right? So what I've got right now, just to make it work, is all of this through here. Like, I've got a miner right here, I've got a crusher, I've got a sorter, and then from the sorter, I go into uh, one of these little forge things, blast furnaces, I need two of the blast furnaces to make the steel parts, then that goes into a solidifier and cooler, and that's just to make the steel beams, then I need to go into another solidifier and cooler to make the steel rods. All of these things are required just so I can try to unlock something. And it... It takes an entire factory, which I don't have set up yet. And setting up a factory takes time, it takes parts, I don't have the parts yet. And I'm trying to make the parts, that's what this whole thing is for, but again, I mean, you've seen how complicated all of this is, right? And that's just to make, like, the basic stuff. Right? So we've got crusher, 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 um, sorter, sorter, sorter. We've got nine different blast furnaces over here, another two over here, so it's 11 different blast furnaces. We've got solidifiers and coolers. We've got a ton of those. We need all of those. They all take power. They all take water. They all have to do something with the steam. There's just... There's a lot. 
and it takes time. So this this is not like a normal satisfactor where you, where you can whip up a factory in like two seconds, right? I've done that before, it's easy. This is not that. Um, but what I would encourage you to do is give it a try yourself. Um, I mean, the, down, the mod is free. Just get the uh, Satisfactory Mod Manager. You'll find it on there. Just make sure that that's the only mod that you're running because if you run more mods, it could potentially break stuff. So just run Satisfactory Plus and then give it a try yourself. I mean, some people like watching or listening to other people play games. Some people like playing the games themselves. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is... It's, it's a fun mod, it really is. It's just hard. Not really hard, but complicated. So we'll try to unlock more stuff in the next episode, but again, I need lots of pieces and parts for it. Uh, the basher, what do I need for this? I need a power, <laughs> are you kidding me? I need a power shard crystal to make a basher. Like how, what? Like we're, do I even have one of those? I have I have unstable quantum crystals, but that's not the same thing. So how I don't even know where to go with that. So just to make a basher, I can't do it. Cuz I need one of these things, five of these things. And I have no idea where to even get that. I'm assuming that's going to be tiers 5 and 6. So again, I'm stuck with just my little Xeno Zapper thing. Um, now, if this was regular Satisfactory, you need two of the Xeno Zappers and a couple extra parts, and you've got it, right? Xeno Basher, you can get it really easy. But this one, like, I don't even know where to get these unstable mana or whatever crystal things. Like these ones that I found, I found in like those little uh, boxes of stuff that you find around some of the nodes. That's that's where I found them. So I don't, and then also I have enough to do the slug stuff. So let's do that, power slugs, there we go. So now I can start doing the slug research. That's gonna be fun. So now I can do slug hatching. Now this is the only way that you can do like overpowering and stuff or like overclocking your stuff is to do all of this slug nonsense, right? And then how that works is you take the slugs and you have to, well, one, you have to farm them, right? So you have to get them to mate, you have to get, then you have to hatch the eggs. Uh, well, you have to incubate the eggs, then hatch the eggs, then you have to take all of those things, sort them out, and there's gonna be, last I checked, there was like 12 different colors of slugs. Like there's a ton. And so then each stage of this thing, and these are not, these are not cheap to run, right? They are very, very expensive. And then once you have all of this done and you've got the slug terrarium, which is for breeding the slugs and you can make more slugs, of course you have to feed the slugs. So then you need the farming in order to do that. And then once you have all of that, then you can start making the slime processing, which is a liquid that you pump into something in order to get it to go faster. So it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated. But again, I would encourage you to give it a try and uh, see how you like it. But I mean, I'm going faster than I've gone before with this. I mean, most of the time it's like 16 hours and I might be close to this, but oh, it's just, there's, it's, it's a lot, but, and I know you're not trying to be a jerk, but I'm just trying to explain because it's like, you want me to do more than what I can do right now. And I just, I'm just trying to explain why I can't. So that's all it is. Um, but that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one or not, uh, which will be tomorrow night, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time from Freedom Land. But for now, 